I always try to find a way to do things faster and more efficient. In this video, I will share to you guys AutoCAD commands that I've learned over the years that would help you work faster. Hello everyone, my name is John Imperial and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a registered architect in Anchorage, Alaska, and in this channel we talk about life, tech, architecture tips and strategies just like this one. So if you're new here, please click that subscribe button. Let's get to the video. Today's video is all about AutoCAD commands that change the way I work. These are some of the time-saving commands that I use on a daily basis. And trust me, they don't teach you this in school. So here I have an asphalt of an office building that I'm currently working on and we'll go through the commands using this floor plan. The first command I want to show you guys is called copy with base point and this allows you to copy elements using a specific point. So say I want to copy this door, all I have to do is select the element and hit control shift C, pick a certain point and then now I can easily just hit control V for paste and click on the points where I want it to be copied. And I do the same thing for this door right here. Control shift C and then control V, paste. And there you have it. The second command I want to show you is called trim and this allows you to do two things. So here I drew a cubicle and a counter and I didn't really pay attention to my lines overlapping and crossing. And now I want to trim it. All I have to do is type TR and hit the spacebar twice. And now I can trim all those lines that are overlapping each other. And the other thing that you can do with this is you can hit shift. So for example, this line is a little too short and I want to extend it up to this line. I can hit shift using the same command. And now it allows me to extend it without needing to type a different command. The next command I want to show you is called Lay ISO, but before that I want to show you how you can create your own shortcut. All you have to do is go to this folder path, and once you're there, you need to look for this file. Double click and it'll open a notepad. And now, here you can create your own shortcut. I'm looking at creating Lay ISO, and I want to use Li for that. Here you can see that List is actually using that shortcut but since I don't use it as much and it actually has two shortcuts to get there what I'm going to do is replace this with lay ISO save it and now when you open AutoCAD your new shortcut should work so going back to lay ISO there's really nothing magical about the command itself but it allows you to isolate certain layers and I use this a lot when I want to make sure that my lines are close in so since we created a shortcut for lay ISO, all I have to do now is type LI and hit the spacebar and select the wall layer and see if my lines are closing. Here I can see that I missed a line right there. So this enables me to see that. It helps me know if my drawings are clean. The next command I want to show you guys is called copy to layer. And this is another command that I had to create a shortcut for. So this is a command that I pair with Lay ISO. So for example, right now I'm working on this main floor plan and I'm ready to work on the second floor plan. And I know that all these walls are pretty much the same above. All I have to do now is type in Li for Lay ISO, select that wall layer, and select all of this. And instead of needing to copy this, all I have to do now is type in CC for copy to layer and hit the space bar twice and now find my wall layer for the second floor which is wall 2 enter and now when I go up all my walls are copied over to that upper floor if you're learning something from this video so far please hit that like button the next command I want to talk about is called overkill and this cleans your double lines. So here I drew a counter and I realized that there are actually multiple lines as you can see here. So instead of deleting them one at a time, all I have to do now is just select all of them and type overkill and hit the space bar twice. 
and now it becomes a single line. It cleans all the lines that are stacked above each other. So the next command I want to share to you guys is called oops and let me just show you what this can do. So for example, I wanted to delete this end counter right here. And I just continue working and I decided to stretch this right here. And in the middle of doing all of that, I realized that I actually want that counter back. And instead of hitting redo and lo losing the stretch that I did over here, all I have to do now is type oops and then hit the space bar and it actually goes back without losing that move that I just did. The next command is called match property. Say I am drawing a new partition on this wall right here and I just wanted to keep drawing, right? So instead of needing to change my layers right away, all I have to do is draw whatever it is that I want to draw. So for example, right now I'm drawing a door right here. And all I have to do now is type MA for match properties and just change the layer of that door that I just added. What that allows me to do is save some time from switching layers and just let me keep on drawing if I wanted to. The next command is called join and this is a fairly simple command. So what this allows you to do is not only join two lines that are not touching each other, but also it lets you create poly lines by selecting multiple lines that are touching each other and typing J for join, enter, and now it's a polyline. Pretty simple. So tell me if this has happened to you. You are ready to print, you just finished drawing, and when you hit that print button, all of a sudden you see that your hatches are above all of your lines when you want it to be under it. What do you do? So instead of selecting all of the hatches, there's one easy trick to do all of that. All you have to do is in your drawings, type HB for hatch to back, and as you can see here, that essentially sends all your hatches under all your lines. So this is a habit that I have, especially before printing. The last and final command is called text to M text. So for example, I want to put a note on this wall right here. And I don't want it to stretch so far because later I'm going to be doing a furniture layout on this space. So what I can do is type text to M text and now I have the ability to stack this text and save some space. There you have it. Those are 10 AutoCAD commands that should help you work faster and be more efficient. If there are other commands that you love using and they're not on this list, please share them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you love it, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time.